I'd like to call to order the sixth regular meeting of the 2019-2020 Council common, uh, common Year. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. What you do has a far greater impact than what you say. Thank you very much. Would the clerk please call the roll? There are nine present. Uh, Alderperson Phillips is excused. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on the agenda is approval of the minutes from our last council meeting. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on those minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, next item is a public forum. City Clerk. Star Kirk. Star, can you state your name and address for us, please? Star Girk, 90 Lake Court, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Thank you. You'll have five minutes. Well, that was my opening line. Uh, my name is Star. I live at 90 Lake Court here in Sheboygan. Like most of you, I wear many hats. I am the co-founder of Friends of North Point, the secretary of the Valrath North Point Neighborhood Association, and a board member with the Sheboygan River Basin Partnership. Currently, Friends of North Point are in the process of adopting North Point Park, which we are very excited about. Our neighborhood association meets once a month and hosts several events a year, which include a neighborhood history walk. And then SRBP is currently working on a river trail map that will soon be available to anyone who enjoys getting out on the Sheboygan River. These groups all have one thing in common, to provide quality of life for the people who live, work, and visit here. Friends of North Point and the Valrath North Point Neighborhood Association take pride in providing a clean, safe, and accessible neighborhood for everyone. The top of the bluff is a popular area for birders, bicycles, walkers, and curiosity seekers. I remember the days when no one knew we were even up there. But that has changed over the years, and now people are coming to this area to take in the view, which is understandable. What we have noticed over the past year and more recently is more and more cars are coming here and parking on the grass along the top of the bluff. The cars are occupied, they stay a while, they hang out, and on many occasions they litter the area with garbage. The cars are also damaging the grassy areas that people on foot like to use. This activity is happening at all hours of the day and night. The bluff side of North Point Drive is public property and its grassy areas are very inviting. Currently, there is nothing in place to deter motorized vehicles from parking on the grass, but there are two ordinances that clearly state it's illegal. Friends of North Point, Valrath North Point Neighborhood Association, and the many residents who live and visit this area would like to see the issue of cars parking on the grass corrected and are proposing parking barriers, benches for viewing, and signage that reads no parking on the grass. Because of the narrowness and large curve, we also feel that in some areas along North Point Drive, it would be in the best interest of the general public to allow parking on one side only. I consider myself very lucky to be living in this beautiful neighborhood, right across from 20% of the world's fresh water. We have a bluff that provides a stunning view of Lake Michigan, and unique habitat for many species of birds that live and migrate and nest along here. Two years ago, our group, Friends of North Point, recognized that there was a need for something to be done along the bluff and reached out to Lakeshore Natural Resource Partnership for help. LNRP has since then teamed up with the city and created a bluff restoration project that will start this fall. LNRP is bringing significant funding, which includes a U.S. Fish and Wildlife grant, along with the Sheboygan County Stewardship Fund and Fund for Lake Michigan grant, which are both pending. The Bluff Restoration Project will bring more people to this beautiful area, and we feel that by correcting these issues now, it will ultimately provide that clean, safe, and accessible neighborhood for everyone. 
Our team will work with the city to plan the best path forward. We encourage every one of you to come and visit our Bluff community to see for yourself the value that our proposal will add to this area. And while you're there, don't forget to check out the view. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <clears throat> Cal Stoffel. <clears throat> You state your name and your address for us, please. Cal Stoffel, 134 Lake Court. Thank you. You'll have five minutes. Good evening. I am also with Friends of North Point. I moved to the community last summer, and one of the things that attracted me to the North Point neighborhood was the number of parks and natural areas, including the bluff along North Point Drive. Ms. Girk did a great job outlining the importance of the bluff, and I agree with everything that she stated. I'm also in support of General Ordinance Number 4-19-20, Item 6.1 on the agenda tonight, proposed by Alderpersons Wolf and Sorensen, creating a no parking, stopping, or standing zone on the bluff side, the side with no houses, on North Point Drive. Thank you, Mr. Wolf and Mr. Sorensen, for helping to create this proposal. I wanted to bring up an additional reason for why I believe this ordinance is a good idea, and that involves public safety. North Point Drive narrows significantly around the bluff from roughly 28 feet in width to only 20 feet in width, give or take a few feet. Considering the average car is up to seven feet wide, it is physically impossible for other vehicles to get through when cars are parked on both sides of the street. Now this situation is rare, but it does occur from time to time, and especially during the 4th of July. If there is an emergency during any of those times, first responders will not be able to get through. That creates a dangerous situation for residents. Therefore, I'm asking that the Common Council not only refer to this item to the Public Works Committee, but ideally that the referral come with some sort of language highlighting that safety aspect. Almost every neighbor that we have talked to so far is on board with the ordinance proposal. However, I don't believe that we should need 100% support of North Point Drive residents, considering that serious safety issue that parking on both sides of the street causes. I'm hoping that the Public Works Committee, if they consider the ordinance, would agree that having one or two residents not in favor of the proposal should not affect its passage. Finally, Friends of North, North Point is strongly advocating for both wooden bollards, park benches, and no parking on the grass signs along the grassy areas of the bluff. Many individuals illegally park their cars on these areas, and we are worried that simply limiting parking on the east side of that street will not eliminate that issue. I'm asking that you not forget bollards, benches, and signage as part of this proposal, or if necessary, as part of a future proposal. Thank you to the entire Common Council for taking the time to hear my concerns and for hopefully referring this ordinance over to the Public Works Committee. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll move on to Mayor's announcements. Um, first of all, on June 17th, uh, we have a Frag Mighty's control workshop that's scheduled. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, it's on June 26th, and this meeting will be at Maywood. The workshop presenters will discuss the project overview, planning efforts, landowner expectations, the project timeline, a communication plan, and ways that you can help control the Frag Mighty's on your land. In order to develop a truly collaborative and effective control strategy, this project needs assistance from landowners. Next is a pop-up shop application deadline is looming on June 28th. The City of Sheboygan, the Harbor Center Businesses, uh, the Sheboygan County Economic Development Corporation are launching uh, an effort to uh, bring pop-up shops, uh, which is an initiative that's been proven to grow downtown retail in downtown Sheboygan. Um, if someone would like to fill out an application, they're available at the harborcenter.com website under pop-up-shop for the application criteria. Uh, please consider that. Levitt Amp is going to be opening up on Thursday, June 20th, this coming Thursday at the City Green at 6 o'clock. The opening app is Shabijis, and uh, it's going to feature Lakeland uh, Professor Rick Dodgson. 
And at 7 o'clock, the featured act will be Valentio Caldero. Um, they will take the stage. And this group includes a Grammy-nominated accordion and guitar player, Gloria Estrada. The group is uh, referred to as a band that musicians go to watch. Venito Caliaro is, uh, offers a fresh and groundbreaking perspective in urban tropical music, stripping its sounds to their rawest elements and delivering an intricate and innovative incarnation of the Latin music movement in Los Angeles. And our Sheboygan Pops Band will be having their first concert next Wednesday, June 26th. The band performs uh, free summer concerts at Fountain Park at 6.30 p.m. every other Wednesday. And just a reminder that there will be no council meeting on July 1st. The next council meeting will be on July 15th. And I want to invite everyone to enjoy our Sheboygan's Freedom Festival, sponsored by Plenco, Festival Foods, Wisconsin Bank and Trust, and Meyer Foods. Uh, have a great 4th of July. With that, we'll move into the consent agenda. Uh, this will include items 2.3 through, to, through uh, 2.16. And on item 2.8, the motion is revised to just receive the RC. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to receive, all, receive and file all ROs, receive all RCs, and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on any of the items in the consent agenda? Alderperson Boren. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, regarding... Uh, 2.4, the resolution by Alderman Wolf recognizing the service of Dolph C. Johnson to the Mead Public Library. I uh, had a chance to communicate with Dulce today and thank her, and she informed me that her service on the library board was for nine years. It's a long time to be on a committee. But uh, Dulce uh, assured me that now that she's off the library board, the meetings will be a lot shorter because she won't be there to ask a lot of questions anymore. <laughs> so I, I, wish, I wish Dulcie well and uh, thank her for her nine years of service. Thank you for those comments. Any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Nine eyes. Motion passes. Under reports of officers, items um, 3.1 and 3.2 will be referred to the Finance and Personnel Committee. Under resolutions, items 4.1 through 4.4 will be referred to various committees. Under reports of committees, 5.1 is RC number 50 of 1920 by the Finance and Personnel Committee. To whom was referred direct referral, RO number 35 of 1920 by the Finance Director, submitting the comprehensive annual uh, financial report for the City of Sheboygan for the year ended December 31st of 2018. Alderperson Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. I move to uh, receive the uh, report of the committee and adopt the re uh, recommendation. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, will the clerk please call the roll? Nine eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is RC number 48 of 1920 by the Finance and Personnel Committee. To whom was referred direct referral RO number 33 of 1920 by the finance director submitting the findings and management response related to the comprehensive uh, annual financial report of the city of Sheboygan for the year ended December 31st of 2018 prepared by Clifton Larson Allen LLP. Alderperson Donahue. Uh, I move to uh, receive the report of the committee and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Nine eyes. Motion passes. 
Item 5.3 is RC number 51 of 1920 by the Finance and Personnel Committee, to whom was referred resolution number 35 of 1920 by all the persons Donahue and Boren, authorizing entering into a contract for the sale of land for private development with Office Service Company LLP and recommends adopting the resolution. Alderperson Donahue. I move to uh, receive the report of the committee and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Nine ayes. Motion passes. <clears throat> Item 5.4 is RC number 56 of 1920 by the Finance and Personnel Committee. To whom is referred direct referral resolution number 40 of 1920 by all the persons Donahue and Boren authorizing the City of Sheboygan to enter into a municipal advisory agreement for the municipal advisor services regarding the sale of municipal bonds in 2019. Alder Person Donahue. Uh, I move to receive the uh, report of the committee and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Nine ayes. Motion passes. Under general ordinances, item 6.1 will be referred to the Public Works Committee. And then other matters authorized by law, we'll turn it over to City Attorney Charles Adams. 7.1 <coughs> is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31, 2019, June 30, 2020, and June 30, 2021. That'll be referred to the Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee. 7.2 is a resolution by Alderperson Sorensen and Mitchell authorizing the appropriate city official to execute the law enforcement agreement between LexisNexis CopLogic Solutions, Inc. and the Sheboygan Police Department to provide various products and services related to law enforcement. That will be referred to the Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee. 7.3 is a resolution by Alderpersons Wolf and Sorensen authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a revised state municipal agreement, revised date May 9, 2019, for the reconstruction of North Avenue from Calumet Drive to North 15th Street. That will be referred to the Public Works Committee. Next is a, a, adjournment. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you for your time tonight. Okay.